analysis of a common data model with Azure Data Factory. How to implement a common data model by using Azure Data Factory. And for this, we will create some of Azure services like Storage Account, Data Factory, SQL Database, and SQL Server. And then load some sample data into the SQL Server database. And then create the CDM schema configuration file. And finally, we will build the data flow with Data Factory pipeline and export the SQL Server database into common data model and store the those common data model into data lake. For CDM hands, I'll use this CDM POC hyphen RG resource group. Under that, I created CDM POC hyphen ADF data factory service. POC SQL database and CDM POC storage account. I will connect to the SQL database and to the sample data. What I have this is my sample table, and the table name is TBL authors, and I have three columns one is ID, author name, country, and sample data. And I will show you the schema configuration file what I prepared for CDM. This is schema configuration file TBL authors, and the file name is TBL authors.cdm.json. And I will use the corpus path of, uh, which is stored as in GitHub, and I define the table name TBL author, and the attributes is ID author name and range and its data types integer string and string now we need to upload this cdm authors cdm in .json into storage account i will do that by using storage explorer i connected with my subscription this is my data factory under my storage account under that i created azure sql as a data folder under that more documents under that I'll upload the schema file. And the configuration i'll go to the data factory authors Loading. Let's do that. Okay. 
see i created two link services uh, one is adls which is related to the storage account in the subscription and the link service which is related to the sql database in the subscription and this is a for different one and i created a data sets one data set for adls and one data set for azure sql and data flow uh, data flow here i have one source and one my source is sql data set which is point of the data set schema so definition is i directly created the table where i'll show you the data set itself i selected the table this is my table so i didn't mention anything in the source option and then projection the data and sync is there for sync i pointed to the common data model and the link service is this one and the setting option i created cdm carp carp as data factory and data lake and then entity name is this one but i'll show you that because my schema definition is in the schema documents and i given the root location as data factory and azure i even didn't give any path for manifesto manifesto file i will be here name it i mentioned didn't mention anything root location then my data format is comma separated and then i'll publish this Then publishing is done and then to run a data flow i need to create a data apply i'll create this data pipeline now i'll show you just to run this data pipeline i'll start trigger this trigger now In progress, just don't store I don't have anything other than schema documents in my Azure SQL folder. Let's see once completed how it is created. I'll pause this video. Now my pipeline is completed successfully. I'll show you the output in the storage account. See, in the storage account, I have schema documents here and there. I have created one more schema document, GBL authors, GBL manifesto authors.manifesto.cdm.json and then under PBL authors today's date 2020 that PSV file I'll show you this to download and see what is there in this complete folder Downloaded. Downloads. 
data factory itself config json it is giving namespace and data flow and then this is our data factory will generate the data schema file automatically and this is a schema file report generated we can use this file as well as our file both both we can use then manifesto file manifesto will contains the data file i mean schema file and then where is the data file path and what is the file name this file name and this file name is same and if you have generated another file by using same data factory it will add one more here partition this partition it will add one more here i will show you that so i am closing this file i make it again I will use the schema file which is generated. I will remove this. Okay. I need a screen. Now I have this one here. Okay. Now Now we can remove the schema document. Delete. Delete. Okay. Next one, it will update this manifesto file to add new file, and then file will be created in this folder under this. Test it. I'll show, I'll start the execution for next pipeline. Once publish is completed, yeah, publish is completed. I'll go to the pipeline and then I'll start trigger the pipeline. Trigger now. Execution. I'll pause this video till the execution completes. Second pipeline execution completed. I'll show you the data flow here. Two files got created. Let's show the file content as well. Maybe log the with my data is extracted in PSP format. Similarly, if you are running, I will show you the latest folder execution. The manifesto file. The updated timestamp only it is an updated manifesto file, config file, and then this four definition as it is added one more file. I'll show you the configuration file. Right. So, first file which we created, first execution, and second execution is created. This can see the new partition 0 and the new partition 1. With this, you will do the CDM with the Azure Data Factory, and one is source and one is sync. Similarly, in my next video, I will post it how to read the CDM data 
as a source and then populate into either Azure SQL database or Synapses Analytics. If you are coming to my Azure and on YouTube channel for first time, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get latest videos. Thanks guys.